Hello everyone and welcome to the commentary version of Raise Aerospace Simulating a Space Future number one. We begin with Starship and Super Heavy and we are at Tampico, not at Boca Chica because all the flights will be out of Tampico, my custom little space center here on the coast of Mexico, on the Gulf of Mexico. This is Pekka's version of Starship and Super Heavy and so Pekka made the mod as well as the tower. Uh, the launch pad was part of real launch sites, I think it is. It's a Kerbal Constructs thing. And then the terrain was made by me. So here we go with launch. The sort of dialogue at the top showing the details, time, altitude, velocity, and longitude are outputted by KSP Logger. Uh, that is a mod maintained by Linux Guru Gamer. And so here we are going through the clouds. This is, of course, in realism overhaul with real solar system. And I'm also using RSS Reborn, though not volumetric clouds. So that terrain there is the Tampico terrain that I made. And I will extend the terrain a little bit more so that we cover more area. Uh, right now, of course, there's a hard border. There'll, there'll always be a hard border, but I can extend that a little bit more. So up we go. The goal of this is to start constructing a depot. This is a depot that will contain methane, oxygen, and also hydrogen and oxygen. So propellants for many different missions. And the depot will have starships docked to it to contain the propellant. So it'll be a starship depot, but there'll be four starships docked to it so that we can fuel up the missions that we need. Uh, instead of just having one starship and then we have to rendezvous with all these random starships all over the place in low Earth orbit. I have more substantial needs. <laughs> so uh, I would rather have everybody meeting in one place. So anyway, here we are on the vacuum engines only. Uh, that's what happens to the plume when we go to the vacuum engines. And there it is. And we're crossing the Gulf of Mexico. We can see Florida ahead of us. Unfortunately for me, this particular piece of music, which was from OC Remix, uh, got dinged. Apparently somebody has claimed the copyright on it. Uh, it's not a copyright strike, I'm sharing the revenue on it, uh, but yeah, I won't be using this one again. So here we are making orbits, and shut down. Okay, so now we have to deploy the payload, which is the first module, the core module of the depot. The depot is meant to have room for people to stay in while their ships are fueling up and so this is one of the modules that they will be able to stay in. It is based on the ISS model from NASA so if you go to NASA's model site, 3D model site, they have a very nice model of the International Space Station and so I got the modules from that. This is however sized up compared to the actual ISS module and I've also made modifications like this uh, plate uh, that you see there, that cylinder, uh, that is a modification to adapt it for other purposes. And here we have one of my Canada tugs. Uh, the claw is part of the game and so is the docking port but in the middle there is a little tug system that I made, that's a part I made as well. So yeah, I adapted the ISS model from NASA and this is scaled up to as large as I thought could fit in this particular starship. It's not that heavy, but it is appropriately heavy compared to the ISS modules. I think this is about 24 tons, so fairly heavy. And the second little tug goes out. We need two tugs for everything. Uh, it's not good enough to just use one tug. And so you'll see me always attaching two tugs to each module and in this case we're just trying to make sure that we maintain control over this one. So anyway, there it is. We dock that one to it and it is good. The tugs have little extendable RCS ports, that's one thing that makes them special. Although they could be larger and then they would have extra long life. These tugs will have to be decommissioned relatively quickly uh, because they'll just run out of propellant and then there's no real point to just replenish them, we'd just better send another tug. Anyway, nice condensation effects and all from Pekka's mod. He's actually improved on those. And off we go from Tampico. Now, uh, the launch script uh, I modified to launch from Tampico. That's a trivial thing. Uh, but the landing scripts don't seem to be working quite right. 
So I'm going to have to work on that. That's of course not Pekka's problem. Pekka did make the launch script and landing scripts for both Super Heavy and Starship, but Pekka doesn't have my Tampico terrain. Uh, so those are all tuned for Boca Chica. And it seems to wildly overshoot Tampico for reasons I don't quite understand right now. So we, I'll have to figure that out. I say we, but that's probably me. So you won't, you won't see Starship or Super Heavy landing just yet. So off we go, we'll save that for future episodes. Of course, we have tested that they can land at Boca Chica, and I've made a video on that. It does do the turnaround, and it does head to Tampico. I made sure it was told about the coordinates, but Super Heavy in particular goes too far south, which actually threatens the town of Tampico, which I took the liberty of actually placing buildings at. So, not great. This particular launch is carrying a solar panel truss segment for the depot and that's necessary because right now actually uh, the depot is under the power of the little batteries on the tugs so that's not good. Actually I should have probably slapped some solar panels on it already. This is a very large solar panel and that is because it was meant to stretch the entire length of a starship and basically it would somewhat shield a starship from boil off and it has two radiators and two solar panels on it. So here I got a special camera from inside the Starship. Uh, this is the docking port camera I think uh, to show the tug floating off there and turning around and grabbing the truss that has uh, the special solar panels on it. I had proposed this particular solar panel idea to Pekka. Pekka did the modeling on the solar panel part. I did the truss part and there's a little tug going off to the side there. This was the bay camera that I had added. I used Hullcam VDS for the little cameras. You get a wild assortment of cameras from Hullcam VDS. So again, two tugs, attaching them, and then getting the docking done. I tried to finish it in daylight, but alas, I got docked at nighttime. The really glowing white part is a procedural part. It's just a procedural tank there. And for some reason it glows more than everything else. I repositioned the tugs off of the truss because once we extend the solar panels, the tugs would not be able to get away. So we have to move the tugs first and then extend the solar panels. And there it is, huge, huge solar array. And that's most of the length of a starship. So I'm not going to just build a depot and have that be every episode or all of the first episodes, I will try to diversify things, but we will be starting with the depot stuff. And so that is what's going to continue next time. But after that, we will do other things and mix it up a bit. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.